Hello YouTube friends, subscriber JW Solo USA. Another video here for you guys. This is how how to um, do a factory reset on your classic. Okay, on your midnight classic. So whatever you have, midnight classic 150, 250, 200, whatever it is. So this is how you, you go about it. When when you want to reset your uh, classic into a factory reset or default, what you do, make sure you disconnect your solar panels breaker, disconnect, cut the power off the battery totally, and uh, come here and press the two arrows, both left and right here, press and hold them. Hold it like this and turn your breaker on. Okay? When you turn your breaker on, um, just keep pressing, press and hold it. It's going to show you, it's going to give you a prompt. It's going to say solar, uh, wind, and hydro. And after that, you let it go. From there, you can just uh, select which one you want. If it's a solar or if it's a if it's a wind or hydro either or from there you can the next one's gonna be you have to set all your parameters or um set your 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 voltages your your absorb and all that kind of stuff but before you reset it make sure you have a pen and paper and write all those settings and make sure everything is uh document or recorded because after you do the factory reset everything's gonna go so yes whatever you have settings your settings whatever you have there they're gonna erase totally erased the batteries but when you fired up the thing you press and hold the button both left and right buttons right here and you turn your power on press and hold it and it's gonna reboot itself it's gonna give you two options uh, it's going to give you an option so they can choose from solar hydro or wind you know from that you can just uh select which one you want or what what, what is your application for if it's solar push solar or wind or hydro whatever and from there the next screen is going to give you um your um the class is going to uh, automatically select the uh, algorithm of their batteries. It's going to tell if it's a 12, 24, 36, 48. So from there, you select as a 48. For my application, it's a 48. It's going to show a 48. From a 48, then you can start go about um, checking on your, your float, your absorb, you know, set up your auxiliary, you know, all the, all, all the good stuff. Put them all back together before everything is going to work make sure don't forget to um uh program your your battery capacity you know your amp hours for my application here you guys can see my total um amp hour battery bank amp hour is at 302 amp hour at 48 volt so make sure you do that and um everything it's gonna work perfectly see that right there so and the efficiency too you gotta to play with that so that's one of the most uh, critical stuff when um, you uh, uh, you go to a default your efficiency um, is gonna change because everything's go back to factory default the factory default is the one that uh, midnight solar set up for you which is a 94 so it depends the kind of batteries you have all these uh, parameters are set for just agm batteries so if you have a flooded acid you have a um, another set of batteries you have to get back into the game here and program everything so that your system can work perfectly but if you don't do that and you're going to end up seeing here like the default for this going to be uh, 400 battery capacity is going to be a 400 that's the just the default factory default 
manufacturer default. So it's going to be a 400. So don't forget to do that. And the other thing again, I'd like to show you is, okay, the other thing I want to show you guys again is here. Make sure you go to um, the charge and select that and go to the advance and go right here and make sure you have this setting right here that says a shunt, the ending ending amps or you see that ending amps so make sure you have on shunt or else it's going to be like this classic so you want the um the whisk bank junior to make the decision for you where the the, the float and um and uh, the ending amps and everything so the whisk bank junior is the one that monitor your your entire system your batteries and all the kind of charge your float the rebolt and all the absorb so make sure you change this and set it to shunt so you're good to go whatever you want the thing to end your ending amps gonna be some people go 0 0.6 or whatever whatever you want to do so go with your battery um uh manufacturer specification and go about everything you set up it you set the system right then it's gonna work and um a few things your limits is gonna it's gonna still stay the same for me here is a 88 because of 48 volt and uh you can go onto the tweaks and other thing you can able to get um um right here so you can able to do some of the other settings that you want to take care of like the arc fault you know ground fault and all that thing and ending if uh, your battery is already charged you want it to uh reset your your meter see it's gonna say that by whisk bank junior you can see right there see whisk bank junior um net hours reset at full so you want that okay so these are all just a quick update for you guys to follow. If you want to uh, do that, that's fine. If you don't have any problem with that, that's good. But anyway, if you already know how to do it, well, good for you. And for people that don't know how to go about this, well, I hope this video is going to help you out and um, follow the right procedure uh, how to go about this classic. So far, so good, folks. And this is the power today. My batteries are still sitting at 96%. 293 amp hour at 48 volt JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching and thanks for your comments and thanks for being part of this channel and have a nice day. Bye bye.